Hey everyone, Chris Stoltz coming at you once again from the Muppet Stuff Museum. Monogram International came out with a whole set of a blind bag Muppet figural bag clips. So let's check them out. Box Lunch was having a holiday special, so I took advantage of it and ordered not one, not two, not three, but 10 bags. There are 11 characters in the set, including two chasers. So I will still probably need at least one more to complete the set, but hopefully there won't be too many doubles. So, all right, let's open them up and see which ones I got. I have to note that Box Lunch actually put plastic bags around the blind bag. So I'm going to open up the outer plastic bag first on all of these and then open up the blind bag inside. Okay, now that they're out of their outer bags, I should mention that the line consists of Kermit, Miss Piggy, Fozzie, Gonzo, Animal, Beaker, the Swedish Chef, Pepe, Janice, and Rizzo and Dr. Bunsen Honeydew chaser figures. And if you didn't quite get that from the outlines, I don't know what to tell you because it's pretty obvious that that's who the chasers are. Not to mention they put pictures online telling everyone. Also, if you saw my video on this year's Toy Fair, you know that this was a big highlight for me. I was completely unaware these were coming out. I went to the monogram booth and lo and behold, boom, Muppet figural bag clips. It definitely blew my mind and was a highlight of the show. So I am really excited to open these up. So without further ado, let's get things started. And bag number one is Beaker. Me, 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 me. Gotta love Beaker. Number one, Beaker. All right, on to bag number two. And it's Pepe the King Prawn. Hola, okay. Can I love Pepe? He's in his black turtleneck with a gold chain. Classic Pepe. Gotta love Pepe. Okay. All right, on to bag number three. And it is Fozzie Bear. Classic Fozzie Bear with his hat and his tie. Gotta love it. Ooh, the polka dot tie is a little long and his head is a little bulbous, but okay. Fozzy Bear, pretty cool looking. And that's no joke. Waka waka. Okay, bag number four. And it ain't easy being bag number four because it's Kermit the Frog himself. Oh, classic Kermit with his collar. He's not holding a banjo or anything, but it's just classic Kermit and all his greenness. What else can you say? It's Kermit. All right, bag number five. And it is another Kermit, two in a row Kermit. Our first double is Kermit. Everyone loves Kermit. All right, it's not easy picking these out of here, I guess, either. Which brings us to bag number six. Okay, bag number six. And it is our first chaser figure. After a duplicate of Kermit, now we got our first chase figure. It's Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. That is awesome. Check out his glasses and his lab coat and tie. That is just fantastic. Gotta love it. First chaser, Dr. Bunsen and I do. All right, we're definitely doing something right. Obviously, it's just science. Okay, bag number seven. And it's a third Kermit. Okay, all right, enough with the Kermits. I already said the not easy being green joke twice now. So, uh, all right, enough with the Kermits. Well, let's hope eight is great. All right, bag number eight. And it's another duplicate. This time it's Fozzie Bear. Okay, we waka waka want a different character now. That was just terrible. Okay, bag number nine. And it is another duplicate. This time it's a duplicate of Pepe. So now we have three Kermits, two Fozzies, and two Pepes. This is getting very hard, okay? And so we come down to the last bag, bag number 10. Let's see who it is. And it is Animal. Okay. All right. So not another duplicate, thankfully. 
I now know which ones I have duplicates of, so I'm going to talk to some people online, talk to my friends, and see if we can work out some trades so I can finish out the line, because I need them all. Gotta get them all. If they're like Pokemon or something, right? You you gotta get them all. So we pulled Kermit, Fozzy, Animal, Beaker, Pepe, and Dr. Bunsen Haidu. So now we just need the Swedish Chef, Miss Piggy, Gonzo, Janice, and Rizzo to complete the set. Okay, now the work begins. So I will see you in a little bit. After I opened those bags, I stopped into a Hot Topic and picked up a few more bags. Where I got Miss Piggy with a leopard print collar and cuffs and brown mittens. I also wound up picking Janice wearing a brown shirt with light brown and dark brown polka dots, which I don't believe I've ever seen her wear before, a jean skirt and boots. I love that her smile basically takes up almost the entire head of the figure. It makes sense because Janice is always smiling. And lastly, in this batch of figures, I pulled Rizzo the Rat, the other chaser in the series. So now I have both chasers in the series. So here we see Rizzo in his classic Muppets Tonight attire of a red jacket with yellow sleeves. And now I'm only missing two figures, Gonzo and the Swedish Chef. Not only did I pick up those figures I needed, they also gave me the display box as well. So here we have the display box for the Muppets figural bag clips. This is series 48, though not the 48th series of Muppet figures, the 48th series of these blind box figural keychains. The 48th series just happens to feature the Muppets. So you can see the characters on the front, the characters on the top, and the characters on each side, including the two mystery figures, which we all know are Dr. Buds and Haidu and Rizzo. And while the front, top, and sides feature images of the figural keychains, the back of the box features actual images of the characters, including Miss Piggy, Kermit, Fozzie, and Beaker. Okay, now I am back because I got another one of the keychains. This time, it's the Swedish Chef. And as you can see, the Swedish Chef is in his classic baking attire. He's got his chef's hat on, his apron, his long blue and white sleeved shirt, and his classic red bow tie. Not too much is happening on the back, but you can see the hat is slightly indented, which is a nice touch. I also want to take this time to mention that there's another Muppet in Monogram's figural bag clip line. They're not a part of the Muppet series. That, of course, being this Miss Piggy wearing a rainbow and heart dress. She was one of the chaser characters in series 46, Disney's Pride Collection figural bag clips, which featured many other Disney characters in rainbow attire. That means I'm still missing one Muppet figural bag clip. So I'll see you after the next time lapse. Okay, so now it's been a while and I finally have the last remaining bag clip. Yes, it's been open. I know what's inside. You should have figured out what's inside because it's Gonzo. Yes, it's Gonzo the Great. And it's great to finally be completing this set. It's odd that he's not wearing his chili pepper outfit or even his purple tux from the Muppet Show. Instead, it's a very corporate looking Gonzo with a just plain white shirt a tie with some polka dots on it, some regular plain old khaki pants, and some very sensible shoes. It's crazy how long this took me to find. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, Gonzo was super hard to find, and the chasers were not, well, I mean, I got the chasers when I pulled them, but like even now, you can probably find the chasers fairly easily online, but Gonzo, for some reason, took a little time. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? It's the great Gonzo, and it's great to finally complete the set. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe please leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from this video was. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels and I'll see you next time from the Muppet Stuff Museum.